Raza has to create a table called student admission as shown here and then he has to do the following. Rename the field student fee to fee amount. Move the student name field to the right of the student course field. Hide the field student name and then unhide it. Delete the field fee amount as it is no longer needed. Could you help him with the steps he needs to follow? To create the table student admission, first start Access 2013. Now create a blank database by selecting Blank Desktop Database. In the dialog box that appears, type a name for your database in the File Name box and click the Folder icon to select another location for the database. Click Create. You will see a blank table, Table 1, in Data Sheet view, where you can add data. Notice that the first field by default is the ID field. This field acts as the primary key for the table and will always hold unique values. To change the name of this field, select the field, click Name and Caption in the Properties group, set the name as Student ID and click OK. The name of the first field will change to student ID. Next, to add a record to the table, select the empty cell below, click to add in the table and type the required student name. Now press the tab key to move to the next field. You will see that the value 1 appears in the first column and the name of the second column changes to field 1. Similarly, add values to two more columns. To replace the default value in the first column, select it and then in the formatting group, select long text in the data type drop down menu. Now type the value as S01. Similarly add other records to the table. Now to save the table, click the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar and enter the table name as Student Admission and click OK. Your table has been created. Now to rename the field Student Fee, double click in the field header and type in the new name that is Fee Amount. Next, to move the field Student Name to the right of the Student Course field, click the column header Student Name and then drag it to the right after the student course field and release the mouse button. Before we move on, let's answer this question. The commands to hide, unhide, freeze and unfreeze columns are also available from the context menu that opens when you right click a field name. Now to hide the field student name, first click the column header and then select the Home tab. Then in the Records group, click the More button and click Hide Fields. Now you will not see the field in the Data Sheet view. Now to unhide the field, student name again, select the Home tab and in the Records group, click the More button and select the Unhide columns. In the Unhide Columns dialog box which appears, select the checkbox to make the field visible. Now to delete the field, Fee Amount, click the column header and then click Delete in the Add and Delete group on the Fields tab. A message box with the message, Do you want to permanently delete the selected fields? And all the data in the fields will appear. Click Yes to permanently delete the field.